Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another video. This time I'm going to be talking about a fragrance that's been getting a lot of attention lately. This one is Zara Tobacco Collection Rich, Warm, Addictive. Now this of course is from the, I guess you'd call it a discount high-end clothing store called Zara, which I believe is from Spain originally, and has a few affiliates in the States. Luckily, there's one about an hour and a half away from me in a nice mall that I frequent that has Saks, Nordstrom, and other nice places to sniff. So this is basically going to be an unboxing and first impressions type video. Let's go to the box here. And I'm going to read a little bit on the back here, because there's a little paragraph. The night has spread its wings over the valley. The coal has almost finished its smoldering within the fireplace, and the coolness of the morning is about to appear from behind the hills. But a rich, warm, and addictive feeling of past adventures will stay in your memory for a long time. All right, that's great. So, seam on the side there. Presentation looks pretty decent to me. I don't really do deal with presentation in my videos. Open the box like this. I've seen this done because I watched Carlos's video where he unboxed it. And out comes, oh the bottle. Kind of. There we go. Some more writing inside. Oh, it's just info. All right. So here is the bottle. Zara Tobacco Collection Rich Warm Addictive. All right. There's the cap. No coloration on the sprayer itself. On the bottom We've got a code and some writing. So, let's give this one a spray. And this is the reason why it gets a lot of attention. That opening blast is pretty remarkable. You've got the honey And this really nice, woodsy, the coconut is in there. I should read the notes before, but the notes are, it's considered a gourmand from the Zara website. I'll tell you how to get to that later. Coconut, tobacco, sandalwood, honey, and cedar. So the honey the sandalwood and the cedar and the coconut are all present right off the bat. Basically, I can smell everything. The tobacco, very clear why they chose to point out those notes because right off the bat, that's what you get. And it's a great combination. Now, as you can tell, $19.90, that is the price here in the States. In Spain, it's going for 12 euros, 12.95 euros. And there's a way to get information on the Zara website. They don't have any information on the US version of their website. But if you go to their main page, it asks you where you're from and what language you want. I switched mine to Spain. And, but I was still able to use English as the language because my Spanish is no bueno. And I was able to pull up the fragrance of uh, Rich Warm Addictive. And I'm sure they have the other ones listed there as well. What I like about this one is that it doesn't smell cheap. When Stephen from Red Elections first tried this, I think he even said if he would not have known this was a $20 fragrance from Zara, he would have probably guessed that it was a almost niche or more expensive fragrance. And I totally agree with him there because that's what the first impression and through the mid also gives.
Now on for Grantica, this one is getting a 4.38 out of 5 rating, and that's from 219 votes, so it's actually getting a lot of love. What I saw on there was the projection and longevity were strongly in the average to slightly above average range. I can't really speak to that because this, this is the first time I'm actually really wearing it, but um, I'm, I'm liking it. I think this will perform really well in spring and summer. For me right now, I, I'm surprised that it, it has tamed down so much as it has from the initial blast out of the bottle. So I'm thinking that this might be a really nice evening scent for the warmer weather. Something that's not going to overpower, but is going to leave a nice impression. So there it is, my first impressions on Rich Warm Addictive. I'm glad I got a few bottles of this one because it is kind of worth it. Definitely worth it for 20 bucks. That's an awesome price for this fragrance. Really great for a young person that maybe wants to delve into niche territory, but doesn't want to spend the money. Or if you know someone like that, that kind of is interested in higher end fragrances, but you don't want to spend the money, this one would be perfect. Not too strong, not too old. I think it could go almost all age ranges. And what I'm getting from the projection, I think it would be okay for work and okay for any occasion. So let me know what other Zara fragrances are out there that you like, that you've tried, and that are worth it. What I'm hoping is that Zara doesn't try to change their pricing scheme on this and jack the prices up because other companies have been known to do that although i respect them for putting out what is a very decent product for a more than reasonable price this could be a game changer in the designer realm especially with the way it's taking off but please zara don't don't jack these prices up we'll pay 30 bucks don't go above that, okay? All right, there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please, if you can, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.